And he just goes straight up into it. Like, oh, that's fine. That's fine. You know. Works better for me. All right. <clears throat> so remember, another one of my predictions is there's going to be a chapter eight. Or a final chapter. We'll see. Uh, chapter six was ridiculously long, though. Took me at least six hours uh, to, to knock that one out. Uh, this is only a copy of Aster House, yes? But it looks so, so... Yeah, I can barely bring myself to accept it's not the real thing. Everything from the feel of the earth underfoot to the smells uh, in the air are just like the real thing. Yeah. So this is where the two of you grew up. Judging by the emblem at the entrance, I take it this is a facility operated by the Septian Church. That's right. It's called a gospel facility. Think of them as a cross between an orphanage and a monastery. I see. So am I right in assuming that you must be? Well, no reason to dance around it, so yup, I'm an orphan. And how I came to be here is a story best saved for another day. Feels weird uh, being back here again, though. Been about five years. Five very long years. Well, anyway, we're bound to find some kind of clue as to uh, how to get to the seventh plane somewhere in here. You guys up for having a look around the area with me? Yeah, let's go. There's an empty well. We used to get our drinking water out of here. We had no fancy orbital pumps either. We did, uh, we did it all using a good old-fashioned bucket with string attached. It was a nightmare. Tell me about it. We would go out uh, on winter mornings and come back with our hands numb and red raw. Uh, but looking back on the whole experience now, it was fun in its own way. I guess it was. You don't talk about this garden? No? Okay. Talk about these boxes and crates? No? Okay. You don't talk about the lack of treasure chests? No? Okay. Let's go into this building first. What's this room? This is the living room where uh, where we used to have all of our meals. Just don't make the mistake of thinking it was a warm place like Mercia Orphanage. The matron here was a stubborn old sister who was strict uh, as can be. Every mealtime we had to pray so much that our stomachs had given up on getting fed by the end of it, and we got yelled at for the tiniest thing. That sounds like it must have been a rather unpleasant upbringing. Uh, that is in keeping with the kind of image one would expect from a church-run orphanage, though, I suppose. Uh, you deserved it all, in my opinion. You never, uh, you never did as you were told and caused her nothing but grief. Okay, I'll admit that's probably accurate, but still. Yeah, details. Look at that bread. They, they, they could be gold ingots with the ends of them uh, painted, but I think it's bread. As you can probably guess, this right here is the kitchen. This is where the older children of the facility did the cooking. It was also uh, Reese's favorite place to sneak into whenever she had a hankering for some food. Kevin, there's a sight I can hardly imagine. Reese used to Reese used to Reese used to sneak into the kitchen when she was younger, did she? Or did she? Now that's a mental image like no other. Please don't take everything he says at face value. Well, anyway, uh, this was always Rufina's turf back at, uh, back when she was still here. She was always out here around mealtime making food for me. Uh, for me, Reese, and the other kids. After she left, Reese and I took over her position. It brings back memories. 
course, uh, of course, then you left too, leaving me to handle it all alone. The mere thought aggravates me. In fact, I think you should whip up something right now to make up for your selfishness. Yes, ma'am. I'll make you something later. The only thing less reliable than a promise with later attached at the end is one said by you. I'm not going to get my hopes up. Man, no faith in me, huh? No faith. Oh, how stale do you think that bread is? This here is the kids room. Uh, I slept here back when I was first taken in before graduating to the boys bedroom. You never did mix well with the other children. Rafina had such a hard time trying to get you to make friends with them. It was a real ordeal for her, you know. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was I was like a little hedgehog who didn't want to let anyone get near uh, get near back then. Uh, I feel sorry for everyone who had to put up with me. I'm still amazed you even bothered trying to be friendly. Well, I knew you were only playing though, uh, playing tough, like that time with Rufina and the chocolate. Stop! We're not hearing that story here. Well, he certainly knows how to pique my curiosity. It was such a uh. That, that scene was, like, the Rufina chocolate scene was very, very, very weird and awkward and strange and synonyms. Uh, this was the matron's room. Uh, no one's here now, though. Yeah. By the way, Reese, how is the matron these days? She's fine. Her injuries weren't lasting. Uh, she hasn't had the energy... Uh, she used to ever since retiring, unfortunately. She really wanted to see you again, Kevin. She did, huh? Did she now? This is the boys' bedroom, where I slept until I was about ten years old. Technically, the boys and girls weren't supposed to enter one another's rooms. I never stopped Reese here from doing it all the time, though. What he neglects to mention is that it was his fault I did so. What else was I supposed to do when he slept in every morning he was on cleaning duty? <laughs> well, you could have just knocked on the door until I got up. But then I'd disturb the other boys who were sleeping, which would have been unfair. They weren't the ones shirking their duties. It was 100% your fault. Fine, fine, whatever you say. Putting me on blast like that. How dare you. This here is the girls' bedroom. Uh, the place where Rufina spent her nights. Uh, same for you eventually too, Reese. Uh, I even used to sleep with her from time to time. The bed was always cozy and smelled really nice. It was, uh, it was much nicer than sleeping in my own. After she left here, her bed became mine. I bet you, uh, I bet you were jealous. You bet. I was at the time, I admit. Oh, I thought you'd be a bit more flustered than that. You shouldn't have bothered saying anything. Give me a break. Give me a treasure chest. That's what I want. Okay, now this is... We'll go in the side entrance. Or is stuck fast and doesn't have a keyhole. How does this door open? This is a side entrance that only opens from the inside. We can't get in from the outside. Yeah, if we want to get into the chapel, we're going to have to go through the front. Of course. Door is locked. Figures. Uh, is it locked? Yeah. Well, whatever. We can keep poking around. I've... I've poked all the rounds. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Is this a helicopter? Or... Stained glass right there. 
That's an interesting detail you don't actually see in very many games because it would be kind of a waste. Alright, let's try leaving. Maybe we can trigger a cutscene while leaving. That is a negatory. Alright, so... What am I missing? I tried to do my best and, you know, look around a lot. I never saw anything to pick up. I believe I went into all the rooms. that A button. is there to to look at I mean Clue as they reach the seven plane. Let's start looking. Can go inside the chapel. Let's look elsewhere. Check the living room. Check the kitchen. Matron's room. Kids room. Boys room. Girls room. Check the well. I mean, you would think there would be something else outside. But. seeing anything. a specific party member with me? Hmm. 
Well, I don't know. Looking at the map. Much more I can do here. Uh, do I have any usable items? Yup. This is like the most suspicious thing, but there ain't nothing here. I think the key would probably be in here. But there ain't nothing. Don't see any other doors anywhere. Don't see any like lit lanterns or anything. I guess I have to go out that specific door. <laughs> so obnoxious. Uh, there was no sign of anything in uh, in there. Our last hope seems to be the chapel. So it seems. What is it, Kevin? Hey, Reese, you were the one responsible for cleaning the chapel that day, right? What day? Uh, on Astor House's final day, when Rafina died. Uh, that was, uh, that was, that was what I was told when I went to visit the matron afterward, at least. Well, were you? Yeah, I was. Why? I thought so. Check your pockets, Reese. Pretty sure, like, chapel keys in one of them. Huh? Grace began checking her pockets in her habit. Eventually, she found an old brass key. It can't be. I see now. This is a surprise. I, uh, I suppose this is just another manifestation of this world's ability to make thoughts into reality. Honestly, I wasn't entirely sure you'd find it in there. But in all the other areas on this plane... There was always a reason to take the person we needed with us. This, uh, this just goes to show you that, uh, that you really were meant to come here, Reese. But... No, as disbelieving as I am, this is definitely the chapel's key. I suppose all we can do right now is, uh, try to go outside. Yeah. Yeah. Look, before we go in here, Reese, there's something I should warn you about. Once we step through that door, there'll be no going back. You're gonna find out uh, the truth about what happened that day, all of it, and you won't like, you won't like it. Uh, are you sure you're ready for what you're about to find? Let me save first. All right, we'll bring the ruckus. I'm more than ready. All right, so I'm still, still Rufina Ein. Rufina Ein. But, like, it's, they're not that far apart. Uh, I'm more than ready. All these years, I've never quite been able to accept what happened here. The life I thought I knew just suddenly came to an end with, uh, with us all getting moved uh, to to other places, and I still don't even know why. Uh, I even tried to come back here just before be beginning my training to become a squire, but it had already been demolished. Uh, I've I've been ready for a long time. I want to know the truth, uh, and more than anything, I feel like knowing will let me get closer to you and Rufina. Okay, let's head on in then. Right. Kevin? K 
Can't deny my overwhelming sense of curiosity, but would it be best if the rest of us were to wait outside? No, actually. I'd prefer if you came in with me. This is relevant to you guys, too, in a sense. started five years ago a Jaeger Corps someone uh, someone had hired took this place at, or took this place over out of nowhere took this place over out of nowhere uh, by the way how much do you remember of that day Reese uh, just so I know I I just remember a group of men in black forcing their way through the gate and charging in here they tied everyone up took the matron up to the second floor and then next thing you know uh, you were in a bed in the hospital in town, right? After which you found out that Rufina... Uh, that Rufina and I had come to rescue everyone. And that she had died in the process. That about right? Mm-hmm. Just what happened, Kevin? All I've heard is uh, that it was the work of someone who opposed the church. But I haven't had a chance to meet you since then, much less ask you about it. I tried asking Instructor Selnate, uh, but she wouldn't say a word. That doesn't surprise me. The Grawls Ritter's, uh, the Grawls Ritter's commander can't admit this orphanage was uh, was being used as a smokescreen for an artifact that needed sealing away. It what? Here we go. secret passage. Hey man, I wanted to explore the rest of the chapel. There could have been treasure chests. Wait. If there was an artifact here, you don't mean... Yep. Below here is a primal ground used to steal us uh, seal artifacts away. Just like the one under Gransel Cathedral. We're gonna get that uh, spiral staircase? Yep. I'm sure you remember the day uh, the day it all happened Rufina and I were due to come back here for the first time in a while we were both coming from different places we'd been sent so we wanted to meet up in town and uh, and come the rest of the way here together but then her train was delayed leaving me in town to wait for her alone that was when I got word of what happened all I could think uh, all I could think was that you and the other kids were in danger so I decided to try and take out the Jaegers here alone. They weren't all that uh, they weren't all that experienced, so fighting them wasn't even hard for a squire like me. Before long, I was able to disable them, uh, disable them all and free the matron and the other kids. Or so I thought. You were nowhere to be seen. Uh, I asked the other kids where you were. They told me one of the Jaegers had taken you somewhere else and that you were unconscious. I looked frantically all over trying to find you before eventually stumbling, stumbling across this place. As for how, remember how you uh, didn't have your ribbon in your hair when you woke up, Reese? I do. What does that have to do with anything? I found that ribbon in front of the secret passage we've just gone through. And there were new footprints near it too. Made it, uh, made it easy to find the entrance. Oh, anyway. After getting in here, I made my way down this staircase in pursuit of the Jaeger that had taken you. But it wasn't a Jaeger. It was Ein or Rufina or somebody that we that we know. Let's go with Ein. Cause you know, shenanigans. Hey Reese, do you remember what I was like back uh, back when you first met me? Yeah, I was still young at the time, but it's as fresh as uh, as if it were only yesterday. You looked like you'd been swallowed by blackness. Uh, there, uh, like there wasn't a single thread of hope bound to you. It was scary. I kept wondering what must have happened to you. 
what you must have seen to make you end up that way. Uh, what must have happened to me, huh? Rafina seemed like she knew. Before I met you, I killed my mom. Really? Maybe killed isn't the right expression. It's not like I directly did it. I still let her die, though. Uh, I've still got a responsibility for what happened. Growing up, it was basically me and my mom for the most part. My father showed his face from time to time, but not that much. From what I understand, he had another family elsewhere. But even without him, she did her best to look after me on her own. I loved her dearly. Dearly. Uh, kids in the neighbor uh, neighborhood used to make fun of me for how I talked, which I got from her, but I just beat them up most of the time. She was always kind, she loved cooking, and yeah, I thought the world of her. When I was seven, my father, who had all the money in the world, chose to abandon her. At the best of times, she was always a frail person, and after that, she grew more and more despondent. Her health suffered. I tried everything a kid uh I tried everything a kid could do to cheer her up, but nothing I did worked. And during one winter's day, when uh, she must have finally had enough, uh, she came over while I was sleeping and tried to strangle me. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Kevin. I failed as your mother. But I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. At least this way. At least this way, the two of us can. Dang, that's that's messed up. I guess you figured that if we were both going to suffer, we might as well take the easy way out as a family. But I wouldn't let her take me with her. Before I knew what, what I was doing, I pushed her aside and ran barefoot into the snow. I wandered around for a while after that. I couldn't understand what had happened or what she'd been trying to do. Eventually, I could feel myself getting hungry. I thought that maybe uh, we'd been able to clear her head. Or she'd been able to clear her head. I made, way I made my way back home, nervous as can be, and... Dang. 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 Sorry for making you listen to all this. Still, I think that's probably when it happened when my stigma was carved inside me. What? It's not his mama. It's not his mama. Get that idea out of your heads. It's Rufina or it's Ayn. It's not his dad either. Get that out of your head too. What a strange place. I had no idea there was a place like this under Gransel Cathedral. This was where I finally caught up uh, to the Jaeger who had, who had you with him. He probably didn't think anyone was going to come after him. The second he saw me, he panicked, and putting his gun down, he ran over to this, pedest or to this pedestal right in front of us. On it was the artifact that required sealing away, uh... On it was the artifact that required sealing away I mentioned earlier, the Spear of Loa. Uh, what's the Spear of Loa? That's his, uh, his S-Craft. A malignant spear that transforms the body of its wielder into that of a monster. It's hard to believe something like that could be a gift from the goddess, right? In any case, the cornered Jaeger grabbed it and used it. I was like, Anime? I didn't stand a chance. Uh, much as I tried, I wasn't a match for the inhuman monster before me. He knocked me to the ground and uh, then he... He knocked me to the ground and then went to raise the spear against the uh, still unconscious you. That's all it took.
my stigma drew all of the spear's power from it into my cell or into its my stigma drew all of the spear's power from it into itself what <laughs> uh and blasted it uh magnified countless times over into the jaeger's body the result wasn't even a battle our precious home became a slaughterhouse by the end he wasn't even recognizable just thousands of of lumps of flesh strewn all over the floor after defeating him my stigma's power was still coursing through my body i'd never experienced anything like that before i lost complete control of myself at this point rufina arrived and she seemed to understand exactly what had happened using her bow gun and templar sword she was able to separate me from you and prevent me from doing you any harm and then <clears throat> you killed Rufina? I wasn't expecting all that. When I returned to my senses, I was in her arms, dumbfounded. Her body was full of holes all over, but she hugged me as tightly as she could. That's... that's when she drew her last breath. Oh dear. No. There it is, the truth you wanted. It wasn't that I couldn't save Rufina. It, uh, I was the one who killed her, with my own hands, right in front of you. Boot, but you didn't. I didn't want to? Maybe not. That's just an excuse. If I'd been able to control my stigma's power instead of letting it consume me and fill me with bloodlust, it wouldn't have happened. If I wasn't so weak, she'd still be alive today. That's not all either. Looking at her standing before me at that moment, she reminded me of my mother. She reminded me of mom when she came to strangle me. Suddenly, this feeling of betrayal welled up inside me, this desire for revenge, so I filled her full of spears. I loved them both. I wanted to protect them both. And what did I do? I killed them both. Me. Dang. Why did you? Why did I what? Why didn't you tell me this before? Five years apart, and this is the first time you're telling me this. Sorry, I know I should have done it earlier. But now I have, and I'm ready for the consequences. But go on. If you want to avenge her, do it. If anything, it'd make me happy if you did. You're so stupid. Slap him in the face. What are you... You think I want to avenge her? That's not why I'm angry at all. Why have you shouldered a burden that, uh, that great all this time on your own? We're family, Kevin. Why didn't you ever talk to me? Why didn't you ever let me hug you? Why didn't you let me do anything to help you? Reese. I... I finally understand. I always thought you were hunting down heretics as some kind of atonement for letting Rufina die. But that's not it at all, is it? Come on, Reese. I finally, finally understand. You don't want to atone for anything. You don't want to get rid of your sense of guilt at all. You... That's right. He wants to be punished for what he did. Oh, so you finally show yourself. So this is the Lord of Phantasma. You have my congratulations on making it this far. Beyond here lies the seventh plane, the place of my birth and the foundation of all planes hereafter. Thought so. And judging by how we, uh, how we have to go through here to get there, I was right, wasn't I? Right about what? Allow me to ask you once again. So, Kevin Graham, do you really want to see the face underneath this mask? Darn right I do. It's time to uh, take that creepy mask thing... Uh, it's time to take that creepy mask thing and show us who you really are. Maybe, like, put, like, an off in there. Rufina Argent. What I say! What I say! What I say. I 
am a boss. I am just so good at this stuff. I'm so good. Rufina. I've missed you dearly, Reese. And as for you, Kevin, I'm impressed you're able to work out my real identity. It wasn't hard. I had a feeling from the start. I mean, you know. I had the feeling from the start. You... It took you like four floors, man. Five floors. Or planes or whatever. The answer was right in front of my face the whole time. And your every taunt uh, should have made me much more sure. The only reason I couldn't be until now was because I didn't want to accept the truth. Quite. You, uh, you always were a weakling. You can imagine how surprised I was when you were able to defeat my strongest knight. Talking about the Blade Lord, what connection does he even have to you, anyway? I met him through my work, oh, about six years ago. We were enemies at the time, but we managed to reach a compromise of sorts. And he felt he owed me a debt for as much. Alright, so you ended up summoning him in order to have him repay it. It's a crafty move, but that's not so out of character for you. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. St uh, still, now that you've made it this far, I assume you understand what I'm trying to do. Yeah, and I'm ready. Take me away. Wait, what are you two talking about? I would have thought you worked uh, worked the answer to that out. I would have thought you worked the answer to that out already, Reese. It was just a weird way to say that. You recall what I said before. Kevin wants to be punished. And you, I was born here, and uh, I was born here in order to give him the punishment he strives for with his every breath. It was to that end that I recreated Phantasma into its current form and welcomed all of you here. All of this was a result a result of Kevin's desires. He wanted this to happen. You're lying. Sorry, she isn't. I couldn't tell you why it all actually happened. Uh, but what she says is true. No. The seventh plane is likely somewhere made for the express purpose of punishing me over and over. Uh, a fitting underworld for someone uh, who let his own mother die and killed Rufina to suffer and rot. And once I'm dropped down, uh, once I'm dropped down there, this will all be over. Impossible. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I think that might be a little hasty of a conclusion, don't you? <clears throat> Reese. What do you think you're doing, Reese? That's not a very nice thing to do to your sister. Shut up, you're not my sister. My sister would never do something like this. Never. Reese. You promised me, Kevin. You promised me that you'd never do anything that would make Rufina sad. So what do you think you're doing? How can you believe sacrificing yourself for everyone would make her happy? Reese, stop. Uh, who are you to say it wouldn't? I might not be the real Rufina, but I'm a, I'm a very close copy uh, to her. If Kevin wants to be punished, why wouldn't I give him his, his wish? Because that's not how Rufina was at all. She'd never indulge something like that. Not in a thousand years. <clears throat> Think back to when you first met us, Kevin. You'd given up on the world. Like you just wanted to disappear, but did but did she let you do that? No. She forced chocolate down your throat and dragged you right back into the real world, even when you didn't want to, whether you liked it or not. Gee. Aww. Well, this is a surprise. You've grown a lot more than I was expecting if you're, uh, if you're able to talk back to me. Stop talking to me as if you're my sister. You're not, and I won't stand for you defiling her any further. Well, if that's how you want to do things, perhaps I should invite you in Kevin's place. Me. No. The rest of you can stand by and watch. What? What?
Reese. Stop this, Rufina. She's got nothing to do with any of this. Oh, but she has. Consider this another part of your punishment. After all, if she suffers for all, all eternity in your place, that's going to make your suffering all the more potent, isn't it? Please. Go ahead and do your worst. Oh? Reese? Drop me wherever you like. I'll live. I'm never going to let Kevin be alone again. I will come back to him. Fighting words, my sweet sister. We shall see whether you can make good on them. Man, I gave her, like, all the fat loots. Kevin? Yeah! <laughs> I hope the seventh plane is the Ariel. That would make things interesting. Hey. Hey, Reese. Wake up. Kevin? Uh, you okay? Feeling any pain? No, I'm okay. I'm okay, I think. But why are you? I fell through that crack alone. But why are you? You big dummy. <laughs> Get bodied. <laughs> me? What were you thinking with all that taunting? Go ahead and do your worst? Drop me wherever you like, I'll live? And just how do you know you'll live? Oh right, you don't. Boo. You're a squire, aren't you? A rookie like you, with no experience or proper judgment, has no business making calls that put her own safety at risk. If you can't promise to never do that again, then you and I both know you're not cut out to be part of the Grawls Ritter. That's probably what I should be saying anyway, but it'd be real rich coming from me, huh? So I'll let you off with a little bop there. Look around us. This is it, the seventh plane. Wow. Gehenna. Gehenna. Yep, it's just like the testaments brought to life. And I'm the one responsible for bringing it all. Oh. After all, if there's one place that's, po uh, that's possible, it's Phantasma. I don't know how Rufina came back, but she did, with both memories and personality intact. And now I have the good fortune of being punished by the one, uh, by one of the very people I wronged. I really couldn't think of a more fitting punishment for a bastard like me. Everything she said was dead on. More than anything, I want to be punished. I figured that by accepting that punishment, all of this would be done, and everyone else could go back to their lives. I thought, I thought I could be just like her, sacrificing my own life so everyone else could be saved. But that wouldn't make me like her at all, would it? No. She, uh, she might have given up her life to save ours. But that, but that wasn't because she was happy to throw away her life to protect someone else's. It was because she saw literally no other option. With me unconscious, uh, she didn't even have the choice to retreat. There was no way out of the situation without one of the three of us losing our lives. That's the only reason she chose to do what she did. Yeah. Uh, she was never the kind, uh, the kind of person uh, who would praise self-sacrifice as some kind of virtue. She'd only ever accept it as an option if all the others had been exhausted, and it was truly the only way. <clears throat> uh, right, but this time that's not the case. You're here. I'm here. All of all of our friends are here. If we put our heads together, I'm sure we could uh, we could find or we could have found another way out of here. Uh, one where no one would have to die. You must have realized that, and yet you tried to take the easy way out, didn't you? I hate to say it, but yeah, I did. 
It's a pretty shameful thing for a Dominion to be doing, huh? See? I've got no right to be criticizing you. I'm even less fit to be a knight than you. Oof. Oof, why you gotta just knock her down like that? Still, standing around lamenting my own failings isn't going to get us anywhere. So if you're up for walking, let's get ourselves out of here. Come again? What are you looking so surprised for? You didn't think I was going to stay here and accept being punished for all eternity, did you? <clears throat> well, either that, or staying here and, and wait for Rufina to show up again. Listen here, Reese. I'm not going to deny that there's, uh, that there's a part of me, a big part, who wants to be punished for what I did. Or that there's a part of me that was overjoyed to see Rufina again, however it came to be. Uh, but <clears throat> but I'm, I'm not alone down here. You're here with me, and believing, uh, and believe me, that changes everything. As long as you're here, I'm, uh, I'm not staying in this, uh, this place a second longer than I have to. You're getting out of here, you and me, no matter what it takes. Right. Except, you know, my party is gone. <sighs> Hello, bullcrap. 